Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I know what was happening before. I know one thug who went into central police and beat the hell out of the policemen and was never put behind bars. No one in any political party, in any political party, in any church, no matter how big that church is or small, will be allowed to enter a police station and beat policemen and get away with it. Actually, we are looking at that case now. I want that case to come back. I was the problem? So hear me out, fellow citizens. You will not hide behind a political party. You will not hide behind a church. Inside the church or outside the church. You will not hide behind a civil society membership. Or oasis or anything. That will not protect you. You break the law, the police take you. No negotiations. Those guys who were doing thuggery yesterday went to bury a colleague, may so rest in peace, and from the burial site, all before started harassing people, throwing obscenities at innocent road users. I'm expecting each and every one of them to be arrested. You can't claim to do that in the name of supporting HH. I call a man. Uh -uh, no. You can't claim that if you get arrested, you will not vote for HH in 2026. Maybe I don't need your vote. I don't want to be a president who is produced by thugs and turn me into a thug. I call a No. And anyone in politics, in the church, in the civil society, in the HH home, orchestrating, planning violence, you're on your own. I repeat what I've said. If the police are failing, I'll use the army. That's my job. That's the constitutional rights that the head of state who is the commander in chief, if the police fail to discharge their duties, I'll use the military to restore law and order. But the police must ensure that and other law enforcement, we don't go that far. But I can assure you. If you claim you support a genuine support of HH who has been preaching peace, you can't go in the streets and start beating people. I know we are being provoked. Let me say something here. Once one colleague went into the market and walked around where there was peace in the markets, now members in the same market started turning on each other. Are you surprised? Why? Because 
He encouraged that. And if you call that democracy, democratic space, I disagree with you. I totally disagree with you. And no one is above the law. I hear people talk about immunity, immunity. Why are you talking about immunity? The immunity of the head of state is only relevant during the time they are in the presidency. The crimes they commit outside the presidency is not covered by that immunity. That's the law. So why are you talking about immunity? I don't understand. One person goes in the market days, but the same day, members of the same society and market start fighting. Next, we see pangas. We see sticks. So now, for some young people, they're saying, oh, ho, so this bloodletting is coming back now. We must defend ourselves. And they shout on social media, and I'm listening, that this president did not allow us to revenge in 2021. That's why I'm with you. But I disagree. That's why I did not allow revenge or avenging in, on the 16th of August, 2021. If I allowed that, this country would have been in smoke. What country would I want to rule when the country is in smoke? Am I a leader? I am not. I stand by that. And I want to ask you, PND members, to accept the position of this fellow, to protect every citizen. Now that we did that, we don't also expect anyone else to provoke the citizens and start engineering and recurrence of those memories, brutal memories. No. No one will be allowed to do that. No one. Police, you got my message. I repeat, all those that disturbed, harassed public, the public, damaged someone's property yesterday, we expect them to be arrested. <laughs> that means, because he harassed me day and night, is there. He locked me up 15 times. He put me under the death row for a crime I did not commit. When I took office, I said, I don't want to do what he did to me. If I do what he did to me, then I'm not different from him. I stand by that position up to today. But you cannot use the former president's status to go out and break the law because you are not covered by that immunity. Please, those who are asking for immunity, this is not an issue. Leave his immunity. He continues breaking the law, soon he will be arrested. Simple. It's as simple as that. Ubufumu wishtashani? Endita mkwe. We must be self-respecting for the community to respect us. Ebufumu wishtindi gomu. That's what it means. You can't arrest him. You can't remove his immunity now. It's too late. He has massive support. The people are supporting him now. It's too late. The same thing I advised them in the beginning. Is you know what they are trying to do now? Trying to get at him. We are going to arrest him for the crime that he's committing now. Which crime is he committing now? coming to say I want to stand to be the president. Oh, is it a crime? It's not a crime. He has not committed any crime and he will not commit any crime and he will not be arrested. Anytime you try to arrest him, you are bringing war to Zambia. This was av avoidable if they listen to my advice. But the president took over leadership and appointed young, young boys who knows absolutely nothing. Guys who know nothing about politics, they surrounded him, answering him, yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes. If you want to do well in politics, you need people that will tell you the truth. That advice I gave them, is it not what is happening now? 
Is it not the reason why they arrested JJ today? Now the president is saying uh, we are we are reopening the case of JJ. <laughs> why? Because JJ is now close to Ediga. If Ediga was convicted that time, was he going to come out today? If he gave me opportunity, the way we are working when we are in opposition, by now there wouldn't even be opposition. He will rule smoothly. But he didn't take advice. He's, he started taking advice from fools. That I have a political advisor. Eh? Political advisor. Political advisor that the musicians went to meet the president. UPND musicians went to meet the president. When they arrive at the at the state house. Such meetings are not supposed to be held on camera. Those musicians want to tell the president how they feel, what they need. It's their right. They fought for the party. Remove camera out of it. In fact, such meeting is not even supposed to be held at state house. These are your boys. The boys that sang for you. Political advisor, they carried these children and paraded them on uh, on uh, on camera to make the matter worse. What these children plan to tell the president at state house? The political advisor to the president, Levin Goma, what took away what they plan to tell the president and gave them a written script. They went there and sang praises to the president. And the president gave, gave them 400,000 or 300,000 to go and open a city. What rubbish! What nonsense! What type of politics is this? What bullshit is this? I mean, what, what the hell? What is this? So the president is... He doesn't know that he's busy sinking. He's going down every blessed day because he doesn't have people that does politics for him. Okay, the president will, remove, will restart the case of uh, JJ. When he has many, many cases that have been disposed of. So the next president will come and charge him for treason again. And let me tell you this. You see that treason case. That's why I told you that if a church don't take, if it's not careful, the end of his life will be so terrible. Because, I mean, he has enjoyed his life. After presidency, he's supposed to rest, you know, be a statement and support the. But. The way things are going, whereby you want to cases that were disposed of, you want to bring them back, knowing that you have serious cases that once you leave office, somebody comes and says, Hey, come back, treason. Treason is not available, you can even die in jail. All this politics that the president is doing now is what he's supposed to do when he took over power. Three years down the line, this is when somebody is waking up to do politics. You want to arrest ECL? You can't. If you do it, you are going to put Zambia on fire. Don't think that you have the army with you, you have the police with you. No, I'm talking to them every blessed day. I know what they are saying themselves. So don't deceive yourself. This politics is what's supposed to be done before. Not now, it's too late. The only thing that can save a church today is to go back, think about how we won the, how he won the election. He won the election without the police. He won the election without the army. He should go back to those people and say, how did, you, how did this happen? Help me to talk to the people. Help me to share information. El election winning is about information. Anyone that has the ability to convince the majority wins the election. You don't win election with the police or with the army. No. 
<laughs> you see? <laughs> he don't. He don't. He don't. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.